Okay, some more of these nifty permutation kind of questions. I've got a machine operator that has to make four safety checks. And the key to my machine operator guy here is pretty simple. Order does not matter. That's what you're always looking for in these problems. Um, if we say that order doesn't matter, then I don't care which machine he checks first as long as he checks all four of them. The thing is, is that once he's checked one, he doesn't need to go back and check it again. So we end up with kind of like the musician before, and that is, is that he's going to check all four so that we know when the, the first one that he does, he's got to check one of four machines. He's already checked that machine, so he has three left to check. After he's checked two of them, he still only has two left to check. Once he's done with that one, he's down to one. So, I wonder why that end showed up. Um, so now I'm down to four times three times two times one. Uh, according to my math, that's four times three is 12. Uh, 12 times 12 is 24. 24 times 1 is 1. So there are four, 24 different ways he can check four machines, provided that order doesn't matter. Um, you could have used the permutation formula again. But in this case, because he's not leaving any out, he's going to check all four, then you can simply shortcut it this way. If you want to see what it looks like with the permutation formula, then that's what I've got worked out here. Remember, N is the number that's required. He's got to make four safety checks, and he has four machines. So in this case, N and R are the same thing. They're both four. N is the number that we have. R is the number that are required. And your textbook will tell you, um, if you don't recall from whenever last time we did these, is that the factorial for zero is not zero, but one. So what happens is we end up with 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 1, which once again looks just like that. So we know that the answer is 24. Um, see you guys in a few minutes. Bye.